So I'm here with Rama, and she just finished her speech at TEDx. Uh, I was wondering if you could give a little description on what you spoke about today. Sure. So I talked about the disconnection that refugee youth uh, feel because of their physical environment being in, in the camps and what solutions we might have to help them go through the difficult uh, transition that they're going through and get them reintegrated into society. Awesome. Thank you. Hello, hello. You want to switch? Now? Am I switching? Because your voice is pretty loud, and I want to make sure I get no answers to Yeah, we can do that. Can you hear me now? Oh, perfectly, yes. All awesome. right. Sorry about that. Okay. We'll start over. Okay. Rama, thanks for taking the time to speak with me today and giving the wonderful TEDx presentation. Uh, could you just give a brief description about what you spoke about today? Yes, sure. Um, I spoke about refugee youth higher education and the difficulty they have because of their disconnection, because they're all in camps, um, and what we might do as a global community to help them through this difficult transition. Awesome. Uh, I remember during your speech you mentioned that your team's work and built an app to kind of help with that situation. Uh, I was wondering if you could tell us a little more about that. Sure. So because people all around the world would like to help, but obviously not everybody's going to be able to go there, um, an app is the best way for them to connect with the young people. Uh, it looks very much like an Instagram feed. So you open it up and you see the young people tell their stories. and. Um, you can offer uh, to support them either by running a fundraising campaign for them or uh, connecting them with people within your network who can help mentor them and guide them or offering that up yourself. So this app, uh, helping people become independent and make, make something through the app. Um, I know current audiences for refugees, but do you hope to expand to other audiences? Absolutely. So Edseed was designed by refugee youth for refugee youth, but the idea is this can help any young person who's going through a difficult transition. Think of migrant youth or think of inner city youth who may not have the support network around them. So they can get online, set up a profile and connect with people who are on the app deliberately to help younger people who need support. So if you had to describe how much of an impact have do you think this app has had on that community? So because we're relatively new, it's been um, a smaller impact, but definitely one that a lot of young people, young refugees, are looking forward to um, seeing more of. But like I said in the speech, if we can get 6,000 people supported through this app, we could potentially shut down a refugee camp, which is a really powerful statement. Uh, so as many people as we can round up who's, who are interested to help and get them on the app, that, that would be great. So how can someone get involved or help, help with the app? The app today is on the iOS, uh, the Apple Store and the Android uh, uh, Store. Uh, so you can download it, but we're obviously looking for a lot more because it's so young. We want coders to help us uh, enhance the code, and uh, and they can go to the website. It's edseed.me. That's e d s w e d dot m e. Great. And if there was one thing that you wanted the audience to know or take away from your speech, what would that be? It's in giving that we receive. So someone who's getting on the app isn't just there to give. They're actually going to get a lot of benefit. They'll, they'll see the rich lives of the young people. And through training them, they'll get to know a lot about themselves as well. Great. Well, uh, thank you, Rama. It's thank been great. you.